This is a face if I've ever seen one before. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Tiana here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me to become a part of the family here. Guys, I know I have been gone for some time. Um, I had to take some time off and go home, visit my family, um, visit with my nephew. We baptized him this past weekend. So I was home for a little over a week, but I am back. I am back and I am better. She's better than ever. Okay. Today we are, this is Shein, but this is not a clothing haul. This is a Shein makeup review, I guess makeup review type of video so if y'all did not know Shein has this entire makeup line called she glam and i decided i was gonna try it out okay y'all know the love i have for Shein. i think we all know um use my code life from enough your order but i have not tried their makeup line and there's still a couple things on Shein i haven't tried like i haven't tried anything from their home section before they have a pet section i don't have any pets but they do have a pet section they have kids clothing baby clothing um i haven't had a purpose to buy any of that but now i have a nephew so i can look into that area a little bit more but i really want to try out their makeup so everything in here including the bag is what you would need for a full face of makeup and yes I did it today. Look at my face, y'all. Just look at it. Just, just look at it. All of this is done with Shein Glam. Everything on my face is Shein Glam except for the primer because you'll hear that story in the video. But everything in here is She Glam and it only cost me for an entire face $121. Now I know some of y'all might be saying, why did she spend that much on makeup? My mom especially is probably saying that. But there's no other brand that you can get an entire face and then some y'all just wait and see when this video actually starts an entire face and then some for 121 dollars i had to there was nothing gonna, that was gonna stop me i had to i don't really think there's much to say in this intro besides i really hope you guys enjoy what you're about to see because it's going to transform your life are you hearing me correctly it is going to transform your entire life there's no other way to put it so if you're ready to watch this video, sit back, relax, get your phone out with the Shein app so you can just add everything to the cart as I tell you about it. And let's just get right into it. All right, so of course we're gonna start with eyebrows and this is the She Glam Skinny Brow Pencil and this is in the darkest shade. If I didn't already say everything is in probably the darkest shade as far as like eyebrows and um, contour and things like that. So this is the She Glam Skinny Brow Pencil and I believe it's dark brown. So it does have a brush on one end which we love. It's got your spoolie and then of course the eyebrow on the other end and this is super duper duper skinny. So we're just going to go ahead and use the brush side and I just plucked my eyebrows. So they're pretty much already brushed out. Brush this one. Go ahead and get to filling in the eyebrow let's see how all right so we do have to press kind of hard to get some type of color so my little teeny tiny soft brush strokes are not going to do it and it's starting off kind of ashy it starts off like an ash brown and then finds its way to be dark brown i feel like things like this though are good because it'll give you more of like a natural brow Yes, this is coming off ashy, almost like purpley on my skin tone. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe not. It's giving very much gray, purple, lavender, ash brow. But, um, so first eyebrow is pretty much done. Like, I, I just, I can't really see much. It is a very natural dark brown. So, um... We're just going to leave this eyebrow and we're going to go on to the other eyebrow and I'll be right back with you guys when eyebrows are done. So this is as good as it's going to get for brows. It is looking very much like an ash grayish type of deal, 
but we're just gonna have to we're gonna keep going with it um, maybe it'll all you know tie together come together at the end so next we're gonna go ahead and under eye conceal so of course I got three different shades of their concealer this is their she glam 12 hour full coverage concealer and I have three shades here so I have the darkest shade which is dark coffee which I plan to use for my contour we'll see how that works then I have a medium shade which is honeycomb which I feel like is my would be the perfect um, under eye concealer color and then I have an even lighter shade peanut butter which will be my inner corner color so for my under eyebrows I think I'm gonna go with the middle shade which is honeycomb and I'll just put this is how the spoolie looks almost like a lip gloss spoolie I'll just put we'll just start with three dots again just you know because we never know the consistency of concealer and to blend this in I did get their brush set so I wanted this to be like full Shein only product so I did get the brush set and this brush set comes with I don't really remember how many brushes but they have this same brush set in a bunch of different colorways I just got the champagne colorway I think this brush will be perfect for blending out concealer as you can see it's just got these little fibers on it it's like a champagne color so we'll just blend this out okay good brush definitely need more concealer and see but I mean it blends pretty well with a brush so that's a good sign I feel like it's buildable so I could add another layer if I wanted to but we'll just stick with this for now blend out the other side I feel like that looks pretty good like I said I won't really know the consistency until I get to doing um, my under eye um, so yeah so concealer is done and I'm ready to move on to face um, so these actually these eye patches are Shein again I said full face Shein so these eye patches are Shein these are the gold nourishing collagen eye mask intensive eye care eye mask sheets right here and I think it if I'm not mistaken it came with 20 pay oh 60 pieces so that's 30 pairs um, there's 30 pairs of eye patches in here and it comes with this little like scooper right here so you can scoop out your eye mask so I really like it I like how it feels on my face so we're gonna go ahead and take these off and we're gonna get some foundation going now of course you know before foundation we need to prime our face and that's the only thing I was unable to get was primer and it makes me so upset because I have this little makeup basket online basket created for some time now but they did not have the foundation shades that I thought would be best for me. So once they got them in stock and I was ready to check out my basket, now they don't have primer. So I figured let me check out now instead of waiting for the primer because I might lose something else really important that I want, I need or want in my shade. So I'm just going to, going to go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer right here. I actually got two of their foundations. Well, one foundation um, in two different shades. So this is their Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. And everything comes in a box. Of course, I unboxed everything. But some of their stuff actually comes in like a little velvet um, pouch right here. So like the foundation came in this. Um, and one of the palettes that I have came in this as well. So that's super cute. That's really good for traveling too because these are like glass bottles, frosted glass, and you don't want those to break. So I have the shade Mocha and I have the shade Nutmeg. So Mocha is slightly darker than Nutmeg. So of course, I don't know anybody that only buys one perfect one um foundation shade when purchasing online anytime i buy foundation online i always have to get two because i just don't want them you know i would hate to buy it online and then one not be my shade and you know how she and foundation is it takes quite a while to come in i'm going to y'all this wig it's time for this wig to come off i really wanted it to last just one more day so i could film this video for you guys and then i have a try on haul to do but after today it's coming off it needs to be washed and reapplied so i have this on because the wig was literally lifting over here literally please don't laugh at me this is not my area of expertise try on hauls and look look oh my god please don't come for me in the craziness that is my wig I really just wanted it to last just one more day. Um, it's literally glue everywhere. But anyway, we're just going to, you're just going to, you're going to pretend like you don't see it. I'm going to pretend I know that it's not looking crazy because we only need this to last one more day. And the only time I go outside today, I'm going to have a hat on. So it doesn't matter anyway. And I'm going to use a brush because if you've been paying attention, 
Then you know that I'm into using brushes again for my foundation. Um, and we're just gonna see what this foundation does. So it says to shake well before use. I think we'll go in with, here's Mocha. If you guys can see, you can see it running. So it's a pretty watery foundation. It does say to shake well before use. So I don't want them to run together. This one is Mocha, this one is Nutmeg. Nutmeg, Mocha is a little bit more red, which is definitely the undertone that I have. Um, and nutmeg is a little bit more cool, which is not my undertone, but I think I'm going to mix them together because they're both on my hand right now. And we'll just put that on and see what this does. I think it's a pretty good color match. If I do, you know, say so myself, I think this color match is pretty good. Just use this brush. I literally, I, I don't like, you know, you guys know I don't ever like using new makeup brushes or like freshly clean brushes. That first time doing your makeup with a new makeup brush or a freshly clean brush is always just, oh, gets on my nerve. But I'm liking this coverage here. This is not bad. Color match is actually pretty spot on. I did a really good job with that. Um, So that's good. Cover up all that glue that's showing. A refreshed wig coming to a youtube near you i'm really not mad at this foundation like essentially this is i guess two pumps of foundation because it was one of each color and look at the coverage now i don't know what each color would have looked like separately because i did mix them together just because i swatched them on my hand but i think mixing the two was a perfect good idea good idea look at this look at this coverage and I do have a little bump right here. I was just home on vacation and it just kind of like popped up out of nowhere. And you can't really see it. I mean, you can see the shape of it, but you can't really see the color. Um, I think this was pretty good. I think this is a nice natural face with the brows and everything. Like, I'm not... Shein! So far, foundation, not bad. Even the eyebrows kind of came together. I'm not mad at you. I think that's good. All right, let's go ahead and move on to concealer. I'm gonna go in with the honeycomb first. And I did get beauty sponges because like I said, I wanted this to be as one brand as possible every step of the way. So um, I did get makeup sponges. I already have, I have four out and there's four more in here. So it came with eight makeup sponges in here. And just like the brushes, they have a ton of different colors. They have marble, whatever in this and just comes in this like this cute little plastic jar. So um, they've got different shaped eggs. Like they've got this this shape right here they have the typical beauty blender shape and they have one that's beauty blender but it has a flat side which is probably the one I'll use for my concealer and then they even have the little ones I'm gonna go ahead in with honeycomb and we'll blend that out so we'll just do a couple of short strokes like this one on this side I think I will go in with the sponge with like the flat side right here to just kind of blend that out Hopefully it's not, ooh, it will be make, gonna make me ashy because I need to wear this face all day. Honestly, I can't say I'm too mad at the concealer either. That's all blended out, but I am just gonna go in with one more coat under my eyes before I do the lighter shade. Just blend this out. I'm really not mad at this concealer. So far, this foundation and concealer combo is doing what it's supposed to do. It's giving what they said it was supposed to give. So now we're going to go in with peanut butter, which is the lighter shade. and We'll put that in the inner corner as we typically do. Not too much, though, and we'll just do it there. I'm not going to do it anywhere else on my face. I don't feel like that's necessary. And we'll use this little sponge. It's not as small as my typical little sponges that I do for, use for the inner corner, but it'll work just fine. I'm just going to pinch it a little bit so I'm able to really just get in the corner. And there we have it. I'm really not mad at it. Like looking in this mirror, it looks really good. So next for contour, again, we're going to go with that same concealer, but this is in the shade Dark Coffee. Like I said, I believe this is the darkest shade they had. So maybe it'll do something, maybe it won't. But either way, that's what we're here to kind of figure out and try it together. Y'all just ignore what's going on on the side of my head over here. This wig is literally coming off today literally all right so here's that dark coffee shade and yeah mm, it might do me something but i'm definitely gonna need a powder 
contour to go over it so we'll just put it on the typical spot it literally just looks like liquid foundation and we're going to use this smaller brush this smaller angled brush to blend that out and we'll start here it's workable but i'll definitely need a, a powder a contour powder to just really give me that dimension it adds warmth to my face a little bit more like my face is already pretty warm tone as it is like the undertone but it just kind of adds a little bit more which is okay i guess the contour is actually not bad i feel like this is more of like a natural color that i need sometimes i feel like the one that i use now is a little bit too ashy or too too like charcoal too dark um, and I feel like this one is actually pretty good, so I'm not too mad at it. The face is working for me. Moving into setting powder. So I have their Baked Glow Setting Powder in the shade Deep Brown, which I think is going to be a little bit on the dark side. I probably should have gotten this in two shades. Um, I feel like this will be like the, per the perfect face powder shade but I don't know what it's going to do really as a setting powder, kind of like that Morphe one that I got. Oh yeah, this is so dark for a setting powder. Anyway, we're gonna go in with the regular Shaped Beauty Blender lightly and see what, okay. It's pretty ashy, so I guess it will work as a, a, a highlight, a setting powder. I feel like this is gonna give me horrible, horrible, horrible flashback thoughts on the setting powder it's not terrible but i do feel like one more shade lighter would have been too ashy so i feel like this is kind of just what we have to go with because the next shade lighter would have been too ashy but i do like the dimension that we're getting in the face so far with the contour the highlight so on and so forth so now i'm ready to move into my eyes of course i picked up two different eyeshadow palettes i picked up a mostly like nude eyeshadow palette this is called the she she glam smart cookie palette so here are the shades in this a lot of nudes you know right up my typical alley and then i picked up the she glam rainbow revolution palette because you always need a color palette of course they have like purple based palettes blue based palettes but i feel like when you're trying something out like this and you're not too sure with any brand you're not too sure of the consistency or how you like it or you know how vibrant the colors are it's good to just get a nude and a color palette if you like it then you can expand into their specific color themed palettes i don't really know what type of eye look i'm gonna go for today i think i might you do like my typical nude because that's what else do i ever do mm, it's giving very much basic um and safe very much safe but i'm going to go ahead and start by just swatching i'll swatch the colors um because the nudes can sometimes be hard to see so these shades are utopia jelly sugar rush so on and so forth let's swatch this bright yellow this is called lemon drop so we'll just swatch a little bit there and you can see how that looks let me see if i can okay she in she in let's swatch this purplish sealed with a kiss this like fuchsia color look at that look at that all right here we go oops oops i kind of dropped some right there look at that okay huh and let's do one more let's swatch this green sour candy see what sour candy is giving giving very much vibrant giving the girls very much you need to go ahead and buy she glam let's go into the she glam smart cookie palette and there's just a beautiful array and these are all matte in this palette the other one had a couple shimmers um i'm gonna go ahead and pull out some brushes that i feel like will be good for eyeshadow really quickly and then we'll get started on the eyes i went ahead and pulled out six brushes that are pretty good for eyeshadow brushes and i'm just gonna go ahead and get started so i'm gonna use mm, this pretty fluffy brush for my all over eye color. I think I'm gonna use this Butter Me Up shade right here and we'll see what that's giving. We'll see how it does on the brush because I use my finger. Of course, there's never any fallout with that. Oh, we're getting some fallout. I don't know if you guys can see that right there on Butter Me Up, but pretty good amount of fallout. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and, st okay, we've got it here and we've got it here. Can you guys see that? There all right all right and this butter me up is coming out pretty 
white. But we're just gonna keep going. All right, it's not bad. I'm not gonna complain about it. I am gonna switch into the Rainbow Revolution palette though. I'm gonna use, we're just gonna use 14 carats. We're gonna use this orange shade right in the middle, 14 carats as our transition color and we're gonna do it super duper carefully see okay this palette doesn't have as much fallout maybe it's the but this is low-key a shimmer we're just gonna start gentle it's high key a shimmer so we're transitioning with the shimmer color fantastic can you guys see that is my lighting too bright my lighting is always too bright who am i kidding i don't know why i'm transitioning with the shimmer shade what we are today it's trial and error right that's not bad i do want to go back into this smart cookie palette and do a color for the lid before we start creasing we're going to use we are going to use humble crumble right here for our lid mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the fallout is unreal so that's why i want to use a matte shade from the rainbow palette because I used a shimmer and there was no fallout and this palette is nothing but mattes so I want to try and see if it's a difference in the palette or a difference in the um, types of eyeshadows so we're just gonna lay this on our lid we'll just pack it on our lid it's working now we'll go back into the rainbow palette and for our crease color first I'm gonna just grab this this smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna use velvet sky right here which is like a brown and we're going to use that as a crease so let's see what the fallout looks like here so I guess it's just their matte shades that have a decent amount of fallout versus their shimmers which is typically the case here it is right here so we're just gonna lay this into our crease okay giving the girls fall giving the girls hard to blend giving the girls look at the flick of the wrist trying to blend this look at the flick of the wrist. patience tiana patience it might be the brushes i don't know i've never really had eyeshadows that are difficult to blend like honestly this is probably the hardest to blend eyeshadow experience that i've ever had so I don't know if it's typically a brush issue or a shadow issue. Comment down below if you know, if you're like a true makeup guru, because I just do this for fun. If you're like a true makeup artist, makeup guru, let me know in the comments. When eyeshadow is tough to blend, is it typically the shadow or is it the brushes, like the tools you're using? Leave a comment and let me know because that can help other people out too, like hey let me not get these brushes because they're hard to work with or let me not get let me not purchase from this eyeshadow line because it's not the best it's hard to blend but for what it's worth this this eyeshadow this sheen eyeshadow look isn't half bad once you put a little bit of work in underneath my eye today i'm gonna use I'm gonna go back into the sweet cookie or for yeah smart cookie palette and i'm gonna use this ch -ch churro chichichuro shade right here so this is what i use for my lid this is what we're going to use for under eye it's a little bit deeper and we'll see what that does just to warm that up and bring the look all together that's not half bad i'm gonna go ahead and put on lashes i don't typically do eyeliner anyway like if you've been here long enough watching my hauls i mean my my music videos i'm about to say watching my music videos if you watch my music videos on a regular basis my makeup videos if you watch my makeup videos on a regular basis you know that i typically do not do eyeliner um but i am gonna apply some lashes so these are their late night love eyelashes in the shade berlin these lashes are huge they are huge butterfly giving the girls giving the girls fl flutter by butterfly so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply my lashes off camera and i'll be right back when they're on here are the lashes y'all first of all this was one of the easiest applications i've ever done in my entire life so we're already happy about that round of applause so i actually like these lashes they are a little bit long like i probably could have trimmed the inside of this one y'all know i always put this eye on first then this one i could have either pulled it over more to the outer corner or i could have trimmed the middle but i think it's fine and my eyes don't feel irritated like i know if y'all watched my um atlanta vlog with 20 part two um i was having lash problems 20 
let let them know in the comments i was really having lash problems so i'm glad that my eyes don't feel like they're going to be irritated today next we have to do contour powder i don't think i'm going to set the rest of my face because i really don't think i need to i think that setting powder did a really good job so the only other like powder type of thing they had on Shein for she glam is this light lightweight long lasting makeup compact right here and this is in the shade 104 cream coffee and this was literally oh there's a mirror thing on there literally the deepest shade they had so she glam she glam girl Let's get it together. I'm going to attempt to use this as a contour powder. If it doesn't work out, it's okay because I feel like it'll it'll just be a face. Well, let's just do it. And I'm using this big brush right here, pat pat. Okay, looking a little on the gray side. Gentle Tiana. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything as a contour powder for us, but we'll put it on the other side just kind of like a setting powder um as it sits right now i'm really not mad at this face i'm really not mad at this face so only thing left to do now is mascara blush a lip and setting spray so let's go ahead and do mascara now that i know for sure that the glue is dry so this is the memoraba memoraba everlong mascara here it, is, here it is right here they had a couple different mascaras i'm not if i'm not mistaken but you know i'm not if it's not my revlon or if it's not my maybelline i'm really not picky i just kind of just get whatever is there so here is the applicator and we're just going to go ahead and just blend our our lashes in with the falsies and now we'll really see how this works um, when we apply it to our bottom lashes i'm actually let me get a little closer for you I'm impressed. I am pretty darn impressed. This is a really good looking face. This is a really good looking face. If I do say so myself, I can't even take it. I can't take it. For blush, I only picked up or picked out one blush color. So this is their lightweight matte blush in the shade Let's Escape. So I don't, that's just the back. She Glam Let's Escape. So here's the color right here and it's a pretty vibrant um pink i feel like it'll look really nice on my skin tone so i'm just going to use this round fluffy brush this is another new brush i'm trying to use as many of the brushes as i can all right and we'll just gently because we don't know how pigmented all right so we've definitely this is a blush this my friends this is a blush here giving the girls rosy youthful oh my god i can't i can't i actually actually cannot that brings us to our next step which is setting spray so this is their music flower fix mist oxygen replenishment 24 hour lasting makeup so this is like the only setting spray that they have so we're just going to give it a couple spritz it smells doesn't really have it smells clean it doesn't really have like a significant makeup setting spray smell so we'll just spritz this grab my handy dandy fan we are going to highlight so i have this autre autre she glam 3d pro face palette um I think Autry is the shade, actually, if I'm not mistaken. And it's got these, I have to peel this plastic off, so hopefully the flashback isn't too bad. It's got these four different highlight shades here. Um, I think for this look today, we'll just use, because you all know I'm not really a highlight girl, but we're making it do what it does for the video. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. I'm just going to use this shade right here. Hopefully that is okay. And this little fan brush for to apply that highlight. And we're just going to do it gently. All right, so let's see what the highlight is giving for the girls. Ooh, she is giving what she and told me she was supposed to have gave. I think we're good. I hope you guys can see. Hope you can really see what the highlight is doing for us. Last but not least, it is time for lips. We are at the home stretch, y'all. So I have a lip liner. I've got two li liquid lip lacquers. Are these considered liquid lips? These are liquid lipsticks. I've got a lip 
lacquer right here lip gloss and I have a lip balm so everything I need to complete a lip so we're gonna start by lining of course so this is the she glam it just says she glam that means they probably only have one type of liquid liner and I don't even remember the shade I literally threw all the boxes away but this is like a plum shade I threw all the boxes away that was not very smart this is like a plum shade if you guys can see they didn't have a brown or anything like that well they had a brown but it was like a very light brown so I got this plum so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips Ooh, she's giving and this is literally like a crayon like a marker it just is going right on this is gonna be a good lip this is going to be a good lip and I know it because lip liner is successful now this is their lip balm she glam lip balm I just got it in white so that it won't add a color I hoping this is just like supposed to be like a clear it, it literally says white they had some tinted ones but I didn't want to compromise the lip color I want to actually keep it pretty true so I just got white which I think is clear so I'll just yep Ooh, this is slippery love it now for the lips I have two different shades here this is the she glam matte allure liquid lipstick I have it in the shade damsel which is this one right here which will probably be the one that I end up using and then I have it in this shade millionaire which is a little bit more of like a well we'll use this one a little bit more of like a light purple plum so I'll swatch damsel because I'm going to use the other one right there so you guys can see can you see it right there in the middle oh it's not picking up that color okay there we go it's like a corally type of color a lot which is more of like a nude um type of color more more my speed this one is more my speed yep and this honestly just glides right on you know do what you have to do to make your lip liner blend in with it this is a look I, I cannot deal I cannot I actually can't deal let's finish this up because we're almost done last but not least is this lip gloss which I think I may leave out but I'll swatch it for you this is their she glam lacquer allure so that was liquid lip allure this one is lacquer allure and this is in the shade deja vu I thought it was more like a white I mean it is a lip gloss so it shouldn't be too crazy it's more of just like a sparkle but it's got a lot of pink to it so I think I'm gonna leave it out for today but you can see like what that's doing for us on my hand a little bit I think we're done we did it we did it we did it yeah y'all I am so in love just look at my face full of Shein products like this is so crazy this is so crazy right now I'm in love everything came together even the setting powder which I was a little bit Mm, about in the beginning looks really good like this is a face this is a face if I've ever seen one before y'all need to go on Shein.com and y'all need to get you some she glam makeup if I'm not mistaken when I woke up this morning I saw something about like a July she glam special sale thing going on this this video right here I purchased everything so this is not like a partnered video at all by any means necessary but you can still use my code life for money off your order if you want to go ahead and purchase some she glam for yourself but they did not send me this I picked out everything picked out my own shades picked out everything on my own and spent my own coin so for everything that I have including this bag I forgot to show y'all the bag that everything came in or I picked this bag out just because I wanted something to fit all my Shein makeup in and everything fits obviously except for this but everything fit in here which I love is just this bag right here so everything fit in there so everything that I have on which is every step of makeup except for primer and an eyeliner cost me I believe was like $121 like for the entire full face what brand do you know except for maybe elf but that's not what we're talking about right now what brand do you know you can get an entire full face of makeup and options because I have two eyeshadow palettes I have three conceals I have two foundations I've got brushes and beauty sponges I've got under eye patches I've got lash I've got it all what brand do you know can you get everything you need for a full face and then some for only $121 I'll wait and if there is another one please let me know because I like doing these one brand makeup try it out videos let me know in the comments if there is but I don't think you can tell me another one because Shein is where it's at so she glam 
this is it and this liquid lip is actually drying to a liquid lipstick pretty matte which i love that way it's not gonna move like what i'm talking about i just like y'all know i have this mirror back here and i can't stop looking in it i look good i look good so yeah i mean there's really nothing else to do to the face that's really it i really hope you guys enjoyed experimenting with she glam with me because i know that i loved it i've been dying to try their makeup line for the longest time now but i just you know like i said some things weren't in stock and i was a little mm, nervous to say the least but i actually i'm in love so this is pretty good this is pretty good stuff here so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video make sure if you want to go get some she glam of your own don't forget to use my code life it still works for money off of your order for clothing makeup we know i live my life through she and clothes now i'm probably going to live my life through she and makeup I just need to be the face of Sheen at this point. I do need to do a flashback test. Let's get on Instagram and see what it's hitting for. Let's not, let's do a picture instead of a boomerang. Let's see. No flashback. No flashback. Y'all look at that. It's not the cutest of pictures, but there's no flashback. That is so great. Let's try another one. Y'all, there is no flashback there's no flashback what is this world coming to there is literally zero flashback on that picture I can't I can't even take it right now so yeah I'm, not, I'm gonna stop talking right here because this video is probably already long enough but don't forget to use my code life at shein.com if you want to save some money on your purchase go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will love to see you guys in my next video